Hello, and welcome to this ESG Lab video summary. Over the next few minutes, I'll be reviewing the results from a recently completed ESG Lab validation of Hitachi's Unified Compute Platform. As organizations turn to virtualization in order to consolidate infrastructure, reduce costs, and improve business agility, they often find themselves ill-equipped to build virtualized environments. Time-consuming, expensive, do-it-yourself efforts often require IT to procure, test, assemble, integrate, and manage resources that were not built for virtualization or integration. This may result in a difficult-to-scale infrastructure that is inadequate for the workload it needs to support. Enter Hitachi's Converged Infrastructure Cell Architecture, or HCIC. A reference architecture for high-performance virtualization solutions, it uses a set of custom building blocks known as cells, each of which is a logical container with the predefined compute, network, and storage resources necessary to meet a specific virtualized workload. Cells can contain Hitachi compute systems, Hitachi unified storage systems, and brocade network switches. This cell-based architecture eliminates guesswork from sizing virtualization solutions, thus simplifying the purchasing and deployment process. Solutions can be precisely scaled, and because cells are provisioned to meet specific workloads, less excess headroom is required to meet performance goals. ESG Lab performed hands-on testing of the HCIC architecture at Hitachi Data Systems headquarters in Santa Clara, California. Our testing assessed the solution's granular scalability, resource efficiency, and performance in a desktop virtualization environment using industry standard tools. Using VMware vSphere and Horizon View, testing began with 220 virtual Windows 7 desktops in two cells, then was scaled to 330 and finally to 440 desktops in four cells. ESG Lab tested the infrastructure with Login VSI, running real applications on each virtual desktop. Power user activity was simulated with a heavy workload. Here, the console shows that there's one minute left in the 20-minute process to log in all 220 users. The Hitachi Unified Storage VM storage system showed a linear scaling of IOPS while the average response time stayed remarkably low, ranging from 8.5 milliseconds to 12.9 milliseconds. The storage system was able to support all simulated users at more than 20 IOPS per desktop, representing a heavy user workload with response time staying low throughout. Based on the consistent boot times observed, the HUS VM storage system has proved that it has enough processing power to handle burst peaks, in addition to steady state heavy user workloads. Using Hitachi Storage Navigator, ESG Lab monitored and graphed storage processor utilization. Throughout the duration of each test, including the boot storm and login storm, the storage processors never exceeded 20% utilization. This metric shows that the HUS VM storage system is powerful enough to keep up with the demands of heavy workload users and that storage for the virtual desktop cell was sized adequately. During each test, ESG Lab used the VMware tool ESXTOP to measure VMware host processor utilization. Shown here is the average utilization throughout all phases of all three runs, including the boot and login storm. Average processor utilization was essentially constant as the system was scaled, and there were enough processor resources to handle burst peak conditions. The login VSI tool collected the time to complete 10 key operations. Each showed almost identical results as the configuration was scaled up from 220 to 440 desktops. Response times ranged from 8 milliseconds to copy a file to just under 2 seconds to start Microsoft Word and open a large document, similar to that of a physical machine with a fast hard drive. Responsiveness showed only slight variations across all three tests, uh, providing an extremely consistent user experience. ESG Lab was also able to quickly and easily scale the system. This involved adding processor blades to the Hitachi Compute Blade Server, allocating storage in the Hitachi Unified Storage VM, and provisioning brocade network switch ports. Here is the Hitachi CB500 management interface, showing the state of the system after scaling to 330 desktops. Why does this matter? Well, when ESG talks to IT, desktop and server virtualization, as well as providing a consistent computing experience for users, are consistently cited as IT priorities. 
reducing complexity, the speed of provisioning, and management of resources for a virtual desktop infrastructure, as well as TCO, are also noted as concerns. With the HCIC reference architecture, we were quickly able to deploy a robust solution that delivered a solid virtual desktop platform. Adding capacity was accomplished non-disruptively by configuring an additional cell. HCIC delivered smooth scalability with predictable performance. And ESG confirmed that each cell was right-sized for power users with a heavy workload. The HCIC storage system performed flawlessly, responding to loads comfortably within acceptable response times and providing sufficient I.O. bandwidth to all desktops. It's clear that virtualization will continue to be a disruptive force, requiring IT to think about compute and storage environments differently as the scalability of performance and capacity becomes critical. The Hitachi Converged Infrastructure Cell Architecture offers a solution that is simple to deploy and manage while providing predictable, near-linear performance and scalability. Any organization with a growing and dynamic virtual desktop or server environment would be well advised to take a look at the HCIC architecture. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESG Lab Validation Report from the Hitachi Data Systems website.